thought, you know, we had a five-day turn and we had no possession in the opposition half in the second half and defend our line courageously, set after set after set. Um, so to come away with a win, it's outstanding. It's not easy to win games of footy consecutively. I thought we were a little bit quiet um, before the game, but um, it's really nice to win on an occasion for Jace too. It's his 250th. Um, so for all the guys to find a little bit more, um, you know, we wouldn't have won that game last year. In fact, we didn't win that game against South last year, where we did this year. So um, it tells me that um, we're going to the right places. Was there a sense of deja vu? Yeah, well, it's not not so much. I, I just Souths make it ugly. The, you know, the, the ruck's always slow, and you can't generate anything. And you know, um, there's a few things there tonight that um, sort of went against us a little bit, but we fought through it. So um, you know, for me, uh, I just said to the guys, like, um, they got the weekend off to to really enjoy what they're doing at the moment. Uh, they're really working hard. And tonight was a result of that. They're in good condition. Uh, we're healthy, so um, you know, it was a nice way to uh, win at home. You dominated the first half, but it was only 14-2. 8 2 at half time, yeah. Yeah, well, we, you know, they come here to play. Um, they, they had two try saves, and then the one got pulled back um, from the obstruction. So there was three tries there. Potentially, we could have scored, and we didn't. Uh, but we got a good one after. We forced an error after half time to jump to that lead of by 14 to two, which put us in a good position. Then we just had no field position for the whole game, whole second half. So, uh, you know, and everything was quick around the try line, but we still found to get in the right spaces, hold people up over the try line, uh, time up, set after set after set. We had a few yardage errors. We defended errors, which were good. Um, yeah, and South, like I said, South's come here to play footy. I'm confused as you are. Did you feel like the contact on, um, on um, Adam Reynolds was just not critical? Well, the two defender jammed. So when the two defender jammed, he's made the decision. to come out of the line to make a decision, and he didn't make the tackle. That's it. Well, that's all I'll say. Mary, can I ask about the blokes in the side where he's going to kick the game tonight? 12 years ago, they came from three blokes at Darnham. Yeah, look, um, I've been fortunate enough to know Jace for a very long time. Uh, he's a gentleman, uh, a true professional in every every, every aspect, um, and he, he, he's never beaten on a footy field. And when you've got a player and you're playing beside, um, it's never beaten on a footy field. They're the ones you want to play play with, not against, and um, Jason typifies that. He does everything possible um, in the hard parts of the game, which is the back of the field to get his team in the right positions and finishing. You've seen the somersaults and the neck muscles and all that sort of stuff he's had to do over the time. So, uh, you know, quality finisher, uh, highly uh, tough at the right ends of the footy field and, uh, mate, to do what he's done, he's not only done that, he scored 100 tries, 250 games, 30 tests, won a premiership, the list goes on. It's, it's um, an amazing career and it's still going. Um, yeah, everything. Actually, Mary's known me for as long as I've been here since I was a kid, and um, yeah, it's it's you know it's my extended family, this this club, the people involved in it, the friends I've made throughout the years are, are some of the best friends I'll have for my whole life. So um, yeah, it's it's a pretty special place. Um, you know, I grew up in the area, local junior, and and um, yeah, I've been lucky enough to do this for for as long as I have, and. I suppose just nights like these you remind you of, of what you've done and then uh, you know, also um, bring it back to team and, and, and getting results like tonight um, is something that makes it feel better and get all the reward for all the hard work that, that I've put in and, and all the boys have put in as well. And The club's been great, um, made this such a celebration for me that I, that I couldn't do anything other than enjoy this moment. Yeah, I, th I think it was probably the, the second half was, was a bit like that. Um, you know, we had to save tries more than score them, and um, yeah, that, they were um, equally as important in that second half. You know, once we got to that, that bit of a lead, 
um, to be able to stop them from scoring was the only way we were going to win because we didn't have any good balls. So, um, yeah, very, very happy to contribute in, in my 250th game in, in defence and, um, yeah, just, just really enjoyed the, the energy out there and especially uh, that little bit of resilience at the end, the last, the last five minutes after they scored a couple of tries. Mary, you've had five years so far, mate. Is that tonight the most satisfying just because of the brutal way that you've been out of the game? Or? Yeah, they've been all, all a little bit different. I suppose this is more of a, a Cronulla type of night. Uh, we were down by 14 that night, but we come back, but we had a bit of possession. This night's a, a little bit opposite, but this, a, a bit of the same. The other game, we sort of got to a nice lead against Brisbane, got to a nice lead against the Gold Coast, and got to a nice lead against Newcastle. So these, these games are what you can build your year on, absolutely. Um, you know, we know we can play footy when we've got it. There's no doubt in that. Um, but defensively, we've kept another team under 16 points, which is our goal. Um, Again, that's five weeks in a row in the NRL. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's up there with any of them. It's as good as winning by 50, that's for sure. Mary, how have you seen the contribution of Carrick Sims at the start of the year? Uh, Lalo was pushing him for the starting spot, but he's probably turned the game's not whole whack in a few points. How have you seen him? Yeah, Taz is enjoying being back on the edge. He made it quite clear that that's where he wanted to be once uh, Tomo wasn't here. Um, um, you yeah, know, Luch had a... They're a really good pre-season. He's, he's a very skillful kid. He's only young. Tarek's very experienced. And done a very good job in the middle for us last year. So it was hard to take him out of that position because he lost a little bit from what he gives you in the middle. Um, but when the position opened up and he wanted to uh, make it his own, he's done that. And he's only improving each week, which is really nice. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Um, yeah, Ewan's doing that a little bit. Uh, he's starting to, starting to. Um, he's a very powerful athlete. Um, he's very explosive down low. But he used his feet a bit tonight, and you know, GI is very hard to, to, uh, to beat. Uh, that was just a cold one-on-one -on -one miss. So it's, it was a, um, you know, it's a try that was needed at the time. We had a bit of possession at that time, so, um, you know, it's, um, you know, GI is one of the best players I've ever watched as a centre. Never seen. So, um, you know, to do that is pretty impressive. Guys, Mary just said before, it's one you might have lost last year. Do you sort of feel the same? Do you feel that was a step beside the maturity to, to hang on and, and see that one out? Yeah, look, I think we obviously learned a lot from last year. And um, I think we've done a lot of work in the pre season, the players we've added, a lot of experience there. And um, yeah, like I said, we uh, the resilience we showed tonight. Um, the pressure we were put under was uh, a huge effort, and yeah, certainly think we're, we're improving in areas, and uh, you know we prove we can do it. Obviously, it's, it's similar to the Cronulla game you edged out with that too. I guess last year, like there were a lot of games where you did blow out in a couple of those this year, but are those the wins do you think are going to be that difference if you can keep watching those titles? Yeah, definitely. You're not always going to win, win the way you want to win, and win pretty all the time. Um, so these ones are important. The, the tough, gritty wins that. Uh, when you've got the backs against the wall, you can somehow find a way to turn it and be resilient. And, um, and everyone just give 100% effort tonight. Not, didn't want to let anyone down. And you know, if we can keep doing that for the rest of the year, you know, things aren't always going to go our way. But if we put in that effort week in, week out, we'll get rewards. Mary, can you just explain that you interchanged your middle forward sort of the same way? Yeah. Um, what was your thinking there? And at the back end of the game, when you needed um, fresh weather so it paid off? Uh, well, Kurt Mann's been playing middle, sort of a 13 role for a number of weeks and he's been building his time up. So uh, for the first four weeks we've been giving him, it was 10 minutes, 15, 15, 20. And he deserved to get a shot earlier in the game. Um, and we, we knew the two Burgess boys would interchange and come back on, so I wanted Paul Vaughan and, and uh, Jammer to to, um, to withstand that and come back on when they were back on the field. And obviously, uh, when Jack DeBellin needed a spell, Kurt's that old, old, ideal 13 where he can, um, you know, really cover up the, the middle through leg speed, generate a play the ball for you and, you know, put on good kick pressure. So it worked OK tonight, yeah. So Kurt's um, now a 13, as much as he's a winger centre, fullback 5'8". <laughs> <laughs> he's doing a bit of work.